So hello everyone. Uh, I'm here in the loft again. Uh, so the last of the boards are gone uh, today. So what's all the boards that I had for sale and the clearance sale, they're all gone. Uh, the only boards actually left in the loft now are boards that I'm holding for a couple of people. Uh, but they're all, all gone. Uh, it's, been a, it's, been, it's been an experience, I have to say. Um, I actually want to share a few things with you. So, I've had pigeons all my life. Uh, the only time I haven't had pigeons or been involved with them was when I uh, moved to, I was in America for a while, uh, and then I came back for a couple of years before I bought my own house. Uh, but since I bought my own house then 12 years ago, I've had boards here. And uh, I've gone through the roller coaster of emotions uh, over the last probably three months since I decided to actually quit the boards. Uh, uh, yeah, it's been a roller coaster. Uh, right up to right up to last Saturday when I had the sale. But the good thing is, I learned, you know, when it came to the sale, it's all done and dusted now, and the pressure was there, and the pressure was on, and everything had to be prepared. And those things are enjoyed. Having deadlines are things that I'm good at, like, and I get stuff done. Uh, but the thoughts now moving on, like, I don't know what's going to happen over the next year. Uh, all the boards are gone, so there'll be no boards in the loft in the next few weeks anyway, the next week or two probably. Um, so therefore they're all gone. Uh, and over the next year then, it, there'll be a massive change in my life. I, I'll be moving completely lock, stock and barrel. Or uh, I won't be moving lock, stock and barrel. I'll have to start all over again the process of everything. I'll still go back into the Barcelona gig. Um, I don't know what's going to happen now, but we just have to wait and see in that regard. But prior, previous... Prior to that, uh, there'll be a lot of changes happening here, you know. So I, I'm just going to put the boards on my mind. Well, I'm not completely on my mind. I am going to continue my articles and probably do a few videos, as I said. I will continue to over the next few months because I, I want to keep in touch. I, I, you know, I, I'm hoping that, hoping that some people benefit from what I do. What you know, the information I put out there. But uh, really, I want to talk about the auction experience that I that I just had with the sale, the clearance sale. So like I just mentioned, there's a lot, of, a lot of pressure building up to it. And it was good pressure, you know, getting the stuff organised, getting it done. Like I said, I'm good with deadlines, I like all that kind of stuff. Not a problem getting it done. Um, and then it came to the actual day, the auction, the auction experience. Um, there was a few comments about me not, not having an auctioneer and, and deciding to do the auction myself. Uh, there's a few reasons why I decided to do the auction myself, but, but, but mostly it was because I can do it. You know, I do these videos, so I'm quite comfortable talking and uh, talking about my boards. I'm talking about my boards on these videos for the last couple of years. So, so standing there, going through 70 or 80 boards or whatever, 70 boards are odd uh, in an auction. is nothing for me, so it was easy. And I know the boards very intimately. I know, I know their, their lines, I know the way they're bred, I know the way they're kept. I know, I know all about them. That's really it. Like, so that's why I decided to do the auction myself. Um, and to be honest with you, it was actually a fantastic experience. I really, really enjoyed doing the auction. You know, it was uh, it was not what I expected. I expected it to be terrifying. I expected it to be, to be nervous, the whole shebang. But actually, it was nervous until I started. But once I started and got into it, got into a routine, got into a, a movement. I mean, we've all seen auctions and how they go. So I knew what to do and how to do it. It was just about doing it myself. I've never done it before. So from that perspective, it was quite nerve-wracking. But by God, when I got into it, Jesus, I loved it. It was, it was, it was brilliant. It was an absolutely fantastic experience, I have to say. Um, and I would, I'd love to do it again for anybody who wanted an auction done. You know, give me a shout. I, you know, I'd certainly have a go. I can do all the organisation. I mean, go from there. Um, but yeah, it was a fantastic experience. Uh, obviously, I know the boards very, very well, so it was, it was easy enough. But to be honest with you. It was the people in the room as well, maybe, like, you know. The people in the room were there to buy the boards. So that's actually what happens in every auction. The people in the room want the boards that are in the room. That's, and that's it, like, that's the long and the short of it. And yes, I brought, we can say a tour of the boards home that I, that I brought out to the auction. But they've all been sold in the week. So they've all gone now, you know. So it was well worth doing, it was well worth doing the videos. Um, and like I said, I really, really enjoyed doing it. It was, it was a fantastic experience, and I would absolutely, absolutely not hesitate to do it again. It was fantastic. Um, so like I said, there's a few boards left in the loft. Uh, that's all I've been looking after them. Just coming out, feed them, water them. And that, that'll be pretty much it for the next 
few weeks that well, until the lads come and get them. Uh, I know the boards I'm having will probably be here till January in, in one case. Uh, the rest will be gone. There'll only be there'll be two sections of board because I'll have to separate them the hens and cocks, so that's what I'll do over the next couple of days. Uh, and start cleaning up the lofts out. Um, but again, yeah, doing the auction, brilliant experience, really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, I suppose it suits me because I can talk, like I can talk, you know, I can interact with people, you know, and, and hopefully hopefully the people that were at the auction enjoyed the experience of being at the auction. Because that's also what it's about as well, you have to enjoy being there and want to be there, you know. So yeah, for me it was a brilliant experience. Um, and I'm looking at the next chapter now, where we go from here. So, okay, I won't be racing boards and I won't be breeding boards here. Uh, I'll we'll do a couple of articles over the next few months. Uh, I'll certainly do more videos. Uh, breeding is the next video I'm going to be doing about because it is breeding time. There's a lot of information on plans that should be made that most fellas don't do. And I'd like to encourage people to have a go at making plans of breeding and forward planning the breed. So I'm going to talk about that in the next video. So I'm going to leave you with a short goodbye. I want to thank everybody again for the support. Uh, through the auction and through buying the last of the boards that are now, now sold as I mentioned and you know you never know you might see me on the auction stage in the near future okay have a good one everybody